Before we get started, let's make some initial settings to make sure that object snaps and tracking as well as dynamic input are all turned on. First, let's draw a rectangle and arc. Snap the start point of the arc to the rectangle and pick the geometric center as the center of the arc. You will notice that I draw the arc a little bit longer, so I will start trim command to modify it. Select the set of the rectangle as boundary, press enter, and move my cursor on the object I want to trim. You can see this part become gray. Click on it to trim. Start again trim command, select boundaries, press enter, then select fence option. Just draw the fence through the objects that I want to trim. And press enter twice to end the command. To trim multiple objects, we are going to start the trim command and input select all in the drawing as part of the trim boundaries. And press enter. Just again, we will use all objects in calculating trim boundaries. Select and clean up these unwanted lines conveniently. The opposite of the trim command is extend. You can shift to extend when you already started trim command. Select the boundary, press enter, then press shift and select objects you want to extend. The dashed line will preview the result. Press enter to end the command. This time click the extend command in ribbon. Set the boundary, then select the edge mode and choose extend option. Now we can extend the line to the selected edge. The opposite of the extend command is trim. When you already started extend command, you can shift select to trim objects. Explore more in just a cat modify tools tutorial part 2.